Ahoy gamers! Oh, I can go backwards. I don't know why that was something that was like, oh wow, I can move backwards in this game. Didn't I, uh, want to come down there? Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to do was come up here. Didn't I already do that, though? This looks like a place I've been already. Probably. It's only been like a month. How would I know? Watch, I'm gonna be... Hmm. Hmm. I think uh, I might have made a mistake. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, look, nothing. I'm gonna break everything. Or something like that. No! Why not? Why not break literally everything? Okay, that's why. I see now. Let me break things. Come on, man. Alright, whatever. We're going down today. I wish I had something to say. These guys are doing, uh... Oh, they reset the... Huh. Oh, I see how this is gonna go. Oh, wonderful, I can't go backwards anymore. Now. That's right, I don't need your frickin' feather. What do you think this is? Banjo-Kazooie? I already made that joke, but I'm gonna make it again. Now. Can I go up? No, I can't. Well, for a moment. Is this really like a branching paths kind of area? That's a little whack. Okay, I wanted to do a down diagonal, but I don't think it's going to work. Like, um... Okay, no, yeah, me doing something stupid. Okay, actually, hold on, that was actually pretty cool. Didn't I, didn't I do a, a downward diagonal right there? Just for the sake of speed. I am so stupid. Yeah. And I... I'm terrible at the diagonals. I think my control sticks might actually have something wrong with them, because I was playing Isaac the other day. For one, charge moves and Isaac don't like me. For two, I think it might actually just be the difference in where the control sticks are to, like, Nintendo control sticks. I don't know. Because I'm not... I'm not looking at them when I use them. So... Okay, wonderful. That was actually, like, free. Mmm, yeah. Eh. I don't... This is frustrating. Just on the basis of, like, I haven't done this in a while and I knew how this was gonna go. When I started. But I still tried. And this is what I get. Why are some of these areas here? That was not what I wanted. Alright, so here's the idea, right? That was a stupid... Ooh, boy, that wasn't actually a stupid idea, see? Also, does this area just not have... Alright, I probably should have just bounced on it again. It seems like this area just straight up doesn't... Okay, wonderful. I'm too used to speedrun games. Like, um... Shovel Knight's a good example, honestly. Because you really can just kind of, uh... Okay. 
That was a good bounce, but I didn't really take advantage. You really can just, um... That was a stupid idea, and I, uh, failed miserably in what I was trying to do. You really can just kind of run through the levels and without stopping at all. And the big the big game of play is to hold a Oh I see. I feel like collect all of these. That was stupid. Why would I have to do that? Why not? I'm a gamer, ain't I? That was equally stupid. Like, why am I... You know, that's just there for the people that went the bottom route. Okay, I was about to say, like, please don't set me back at the beginning. Alright, so that is in fact nothing. There's so many things here that I just expect to be something, because I've been playing Kirby games my entire life. And it's nothing. And I mean, I guess Kirby games don't even have secrets anymore. Whatever. See, I'm cool and good. Hey, look! A burb. And also a checkpoint. And also the old lady. Oh, hello again. Of course you're here. Calling it quits, I see. What? No. Oh yeah, this is where we fell to. Probably for the best, the bounce and doesn't pull punches. Yeah, I got it. Well. <laughs> wow, she's actually laughing. You'll get over it. Well, I will I though. And I'm already over it. That part of me was right. Oh, piss off. Shut the heck up, Madeline. Literally, I'm like, shut up. <laughs> it's a shame that you fell. I was thinking you'd make it. Um, I don't know, maybe the ability to, to friggin' dash and stuff? Pretty sure, uh, I never saw, um, uh, uh, I forgot his name already. It's been too long. <laughs> hmm. Whack. Who is the old lady? Hold up. What's up here? How do I even make it through here? It's not like this isn't some kind of area that I can't come through either. Oh, you know what? Um, there's most definitely a feather somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what else it might be? I actually know, uh, how this goes. So maybe it's fine. Um... Also, like, this is honestly like a significantly easier level than I thought it would be originally. It's not... I don't know. I'm getting babied. It feels like... Everything isn't Celestial Resort B-side. And I need to remember that the game can be easy sometimes and it's not, like, a terrible thing. Hey, look. Wada. I went to Wada the other day. Wada bugger! Haha. <laughs> bugger. Anyways. What's up there? I want to know now. I can swim, by the way. Can you swim? Haha. <laughs> Shout out to the, uh, I work at a pool, right? And there's a poster, and the, it's, um, 
It's funny because it's like a little kid with goggles and uh, a. Um, do I have like a breath meter? No. It's a little kid with goggles. Oh, I can speed up my descent? That's typically not how that works. No, actually, that is exactly how it works. Oh, I thought it was going to stop there. Anyways, um, and then he's got like a towel wrapped around his neck, like a cape. Pretty funny stuff. This seems interesting. Why is the save point here? Anyways, I'm just going to keep going. It's only been like 10 minutes, and I've been making like 20 minute videos so far. Yeah, anyways, so the kid's like dressed up like a superhero or whatever, with cool stuff, and then, and then the... The, it says in text like uh, his superpowers don't work underwater, you know, because you gotta you gotta take care of your children, make sure they don't drown, right? Well, anyways, what's so funny to me about it is that the kids black. And I was like, hoo hoo, they did not think this one through. <laughs> but uh, whatever. Expect me to trust you? Well. But I know you're scared. Yeah, shut up. You're just parroting what that old lady said. You really d aren't doing any work for yourself. She kind of is. I get it. There's the effort there, but I don't know. No. There are a lot of ways to get through crap. Oh boy. Okay, so that wasn't the right play. Huh. Let's not get crushed, actually. That's probably a better idea. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dang, bro. Dang, bro, you're gonna shoot me with that? I didn't know that was gonna happen. I'm real good at this game. See, if you just don't let her do that... Okay. Okay, that was not expected. I, I have half a mind to leave it here. Just because I can. But I know that's like a stupid idea. I think I'm gonna try to climb up that as it comes down. And it'll be really cool and stuff. But I know that's gonna end up not working somehow. Okay, never mind. Dang it, it still shoots me that direction? I think what happened there was a, a, a diagonal. Uh, I did not mean for it to do that. That was also not intentional. I do a lot of things that are unintentional in this game. It seems like uh, I'm uh, bad at the game or something. Haha. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm actually bad. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so bad at the game. Oh my gosh, I'm bad at the game. I'm so bad at the game. Yeah, that's right, you suck! You suck, Maddie. That's right, you suck. You're bad. That's right, let your anxieties get the better of you in this large, um... Mythic adventure. In this fun analogy for depression anxiety. You know, I liked Owlboy better, okay? I could relate better to Owlboy because it was entirely internal. This is also entirely internal, but... The way that it comes across is as if her problems were caused by other people. And I feel like you can say something along those lines and it still be an internal monologue kind of thing. Um, I don't know if what I'm saying makes all that much sense actually. I just mean in terms of like when things of that nature would happen in Alaboy, it was taken as. I suppose not really a dream sequence so much as a... 
Uh, you knew it was the mind of sorts. Not the mind of sorts. You just knew that it was entirely internal. And the reality of it didn't reflect what was internal either. And that's, I, that's an important concept for mental struggles, because you could see inside the mind of Owlboy that all the villagers were like mean to him and crap. And then you go out into Veli, and the villagers are perfectly decent people, and you get some concept of it being an entirely internal struggle. I guess since Madeline is like the only character in this game, save for like three other people, including herself. Maddie takes up two characters. What is this? Adam Sandler's Jack and Jill? I just, um... I just think it's a bit more... Well, honestly, the whole mountain might be a metaphor that I just haven't gotten into yet. Probably is. Hmm, struggle session mountain. I just can't do it. You can't kill me. Because I am a me. That was stupid. That was late. Okay, wonderful. I think I jumped off the top of that anyways, so I probably could have just, um... There we go. That's all I wanted to do. But anyway, uh... Ah, anyways, anyways... Okay, wonderful. I think that the interpretations maybe just get a bit muddied when the entire game uh, could be called the metaphor. But... I'm not the one who made Celeste. I think it's probably perfectly fine as a, a story of battling the mind of one's own inner struggles. I just don't know if it, uh... Well, at the same time, I'm sure it works for somebody. I'm not saying games should be used as therapy or anything, but... Nope. Battling! Batty! She might- she a little baddie. Oh god. There we go. <laughs> that was, a uh, perfectly fine. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Excuse me. But, like, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Look at how easy this section is! Oh, well, never mind. I just have to know where she's going. What the Hulk? Uh, Hulk? Uh, what the TV's Hulk? Um, I watched I Love You Man the other day, and I already forgot the name of the Hulk from TV. Excuse me, Batty. Excuse me, Batty. I did you a favor. No, the heck you did not. You aren't a mountain climber. No, the heck I am not. I'm just trying to help you. Well, shut the heck up. I don't actually know what she said there, and it probably... Oh, well. Probably would have been a good idea to find out what she said there. But I also don't really care. And now that this... Oh, come on. Oh, there's a little piece of crap in front of her anyways. Alright. Perfect diagonal thing. Excuse me, Batty. Okay. You just had to do that right there? You kidding me? Lady? Woo man. Excuse me. 
Anyways, whatever. I can deal with my struggles on my own, me. Okay, you don't need to help because your help is unnecessary. And honestly, it's not helping me, okay? I am a mountain climber, a big me problem mountain, you know, because my problems are so big and important. So, understanding that my own self-importance does in fact exist in this realm, I can in fact... Okay. Seeing as my issues have manifested themselves as a massive mountain, I can at least assume just the slightest bit that there is some importance in these things that are happening to me. So, you know what, screw you, baddie. Alright, oh, come on, that was like totally a new area. Okay. Jump just had to go in the same exact angle as her laser beam. Raw spaghetti laser beam. This is honestly going really well. Okay, I almost got shot again. I almost just like threw myself into, um... Okay, wonderful. I forgot about the startup lag on the feather. I'm really hoping this doesn't end up being like a massively long episode. Cause uh, it wouldn't be the only thing of mine that's massively long. <laughs> Boing? Oh, cool. I wonder- oh, well, never mind. I was about to say I wonder what happens if I move backwards. Also, isn't it interesting that the one area that's completely out of the way doesn't have any strawberries on it? Fine. You win. Guess you don't need me after all. Shut up. Work together? You're joking, right? I'm literally you. You can fly, okay? Just, like, take me out of here. Gay! Oh. <laughs> Thumbnail time, if it'll capture, which it probably won't, let's all be honest. Anyways. Oh, that's, like, we're getting into it. And now they start, like... Oh, too hot for YouTube! Oh boy, I'm gonna have to censor that. <laughs> Whoa, dude, I've collected the Chaos Emeralds. Ah! Chaos Control! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, look, it's the Pico 8. Also, the first dash is, like, really high. Whoa, dudes. Isn't this like the start of the level? No. Hmm. I get the feeling this could be possibly important. Oh, why not? Here I go, upwards and outwards. I think, uh, I think, uh, how did we do that? If we can climb like that, maybe we can still reach the summit. Still want to climb the mountain? Because, why not? Hey look, it's the old lady. See you two playing nice. Yeah, thanks. It's just like 20 minutes. Easy. Whoa, dude, it's, uh, that guy. You're okay. A random to help, but it looks like you're fine. Theo, that's his name, yep. Alright. She's like, adorable goth, Maddie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we got to see some, uh, some Norman goth action earlier. Oh, boy. <sighs> mm-hmm. Dang it, now that I said that, there's absolutely rule 34 of that crap. Madeline, uh, ex Madeline, ex Breeder, ex Theo, ex Old Piggy. There we go. S -s -s Shut up. It's something I want to do, so I have to. 
We've got to give it a try. Yep. Fell. Yeah, sure. She was still being like kind of kind of an a-hole during the Mirror Temple episode. And just like at the old site. That was literally like the second place we went to. And then he, he, she made freaking Ochiro go crazy. Go crazy, go stupid, all that crap. So yeah, you've done a lot. Okay, here you go. Just won't take long. Whoa, dude. She went... Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.